Three and a half years have passed now since Peter, James, John, and the rest of the twelve disciples first heard the call of Jesus of Nazareth. What an amazing experience it has been. Sitting at his feet, witnessing the incredible miracles, coming to know and love him, and to believe that he was their long-awaited Messiah. Now, they are approaching the end of their time together, their last few days. It is Monday. They enter the crowded temple. Seeing the money changers, the buying and selling of sacrificial animals, Christ angrily takes a whip and drives them away, crying out, My house is a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. The next day, Tuesday, Judas, one of the twelve, seeks out the chief priests and agrees to betray Jesus. He presents a plan for his arrest, and this for 30 pieces of silver. On Wednesday, it is believed Jesus and his disciples spend the day at Bethany with their friends Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, a quiet repose before the storm. On Thursday, they return to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover in a borrowed upper room. The disciples are saddened when Jesus speaks of his coming death. Later that night in the garden, Judas completes the act of betrayal. Jesus is arrested by the soldiers of the high priest. Friday. Dark Friday. Jesus is falsely accused and tried and then crucified. All day Saturday, the body of the Lord they loved lies lifeless in a rich man's tomb. The disciples are in hiding, fearful for their lives. Their hopes are dashed. Their world has crashed.
Let's go back now and fill in the story in greater detail. It is five days before the Passover. Jesus and his disciples make their way from Bethany to Jerusalem. Passover was approaching, and the chief priests and scribes were seeking how they might put Jesus to death, for they were afraid of the people. And Satan entered into Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve. And he went away and discussed with the chief priests and the officers how he might deliver Jesus to them. And they were delighted, and agreed to give him money. And he consented and began seeking a good opportunity to betray him. Then came the day of unleavened bread in which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. And Jesus sent Peter and John saying, Go and prepare the Passover for us, that we may eat. The 
bread and wine are but a symbol of his death till his return. death upon a tree. The bread is for his broken body. The wine, his blood that flowed so free. spoke these and many other words, and after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, You will all fall away because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike down the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered. But after I have been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. But Peter answered and said to him, even though all may fall away because of you, I will never fall away. Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you that this very night before a cock crows, you shall deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even if I must die with you, I will not deny you. The other disciples said the same thing. Then they came to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said, Sit here while I go over there and pray. Yeah. 
had finished praying, he came to his sleeping disciples and said, The hour has come. Behold, the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Arise, let us be going. The one who betrays me is at hand. They seized Jesus and bound him and led him away to the house of Caiaphas, the high priest. And Peter followed him at a distance, right into the courtyard of the high priest. And he sat with the officers, warming himself at the fire. Remember when I first met Jesus Standing on the seashore, there I met him Then he said, hey Peter, you'll never fish again Come and travel with me and we will fish for men Like yesterday One of the servant girls of the high priest Seeing Peter warming himself Looked at him and said You too were with Jesus the Nazarene But he denied it saying I neither know nor understand What you are talking about Once out in a boat Upon an angry sea I saw him walk on water And he passed by me I said, may I come after? He said, come unto me But soon I started sinking And Jesus rescued me It seems like yesterday like yesterday. And when he had gone out to the porch, another servant girl saw him and said to those who were there, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied it with an oath, I do not know the man. Then there was the time five thousand folks were fed. Five little fishes and two loaves of bread. He took that lunch and blessed it. We passed it all around. And when they finished eating, well, baskets full were found. It seems like yesterday. Like. And after a little while, the bystanders were again saying to Peter, Surely you are one of them, for you too are a Galilean. But he began to curse and swear, I do not know this fellow you are talking about. Looking back on all our time together, There was a bond between no one could sever. I saw him heal the sick ones He raised men from the dead And lives he changed forever By just the words he said It seems like yesterday Like yesterday 
And while he was still speaking, a cock crowed. And the Lord turned and looked at Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had told him, Before a cock crows today, you will deny me three times. And Peter went outside and wept bitterly. chief priests with the elders and scribes and the whole council immediately held a consultation and binding Jesus they led him away and delivered him up to Pilate the governor and Pilate questioned him are you the king of the Jews and answering he said to him it is as you say and the chief priests began to accuse him harshly and Pilate questioned him again, saying, Do you make no answer? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further answer, so that Pilate was astonished. Now at the feast, the governor was accustomed to release for the multitude any one person whom they wanted. And they were holding at that time a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. And therefore they were gathered together. Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you? Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? For he was aware that the chief priests stirred up the multitude to ask him to release Barabbas for them instead. And answering again, Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do to him whom you call the king of the Jews? And they shouted back, Crucify him! And Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more.
crucify him. They put up above his head the charge against him which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. And those who passed by wagged their heads at him and hurled abuse. So your king you say, then why are you hanging there? So your king you say, at your nail pierced hand ah. so you're the son of God your blood stains the desert sand if you are who you say then come down so we will see that you are who you claim and God, save yourself. 
When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who also had become a disciple of Jesus. He came to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given over to him. And Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out in the rock and he rolled a large stone against the entrance of the tomb and went away. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, and Salome bought spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen. And they said to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? Looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting at the right, wearing a white robe. And they were amazed. And he said to them, Do not be amazed. You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. Behold, here is the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter, he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him, just as he had said to you.
saying, Worthy are you to take the book and to break its seals, for you were slain. And did purchase for God with your blood men from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. And you have made them to be a kingdom and priests to our God, and they will reign upon the earth. And I heard the voices of many angels around the throne and the living creatures and the elders. And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000, and thousands of thousands, saying, Him who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb, be blessing and honor and glory and dominion forever and forever. 